सो वेन वी थिंक अबाउट कि अरे इंडिया का वेज ग्रोथ क्या है अरे भाई वेज ग्रोथ जो है वो इज ओनली फोर्टी वेजेज आर ओनली फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इनकम फॉर्मल सेक्टर फॉर्मल वर्कर आर पर कैपिटल जी डी पी इज दैट ऑफ एन अपर मिडिल इनकम इज नॉट रिच कंट्री द रीजन वाई आर एवरेज पर कैपिटल इनकम इज सो लो इज बिकॉज वी हैव वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सेक्टर पीपल वर्किंग इन द इनफॉर्मल सेक्टर मेक इन इंडिया has been a you know big campaign so where are we held in that as a term reason to believe that in next 5 to 10 years will generate substantial number of this large scale manufacturing jobs in india in the next 20 years business services exports are going to be way bigger than what it services exports have been in the last 30 years any discussion on uh, jobs in today's time will be incomplete without talking about potential impact on ai it actually is an opportunity for india as much as it is threat mm. nilkant welcome episode 4 thanks for doing this series i think we have had very interesting conversation so far and this topic you know, i think somewhat related to earlier discussion we had about gdp we all have these dreams of you know i don't know whose number to use but 20 25 or 30 trillion dollar economy but big numbers compared to where we are at but big part of that is also very inclusive growth and um, you know i think you know one big parameter of any developed economy is ki sabke paas rozgar hai acha wala rozgar hai per capita income or you know household income is sufficient to take care of your basic needs your surplus income to invest to dream better future for your kids and so on so india may today you know i want to understand from you where are we in our ability to generate employment are we generating enough jobs for everyone we are going through a you know, lot of transformations i think every year number of people who work in agriculture is falling down probably right thing because you know the agriculture doesn't need to be as labor intensive it has always been i think and you know, you'll correct my numbers later on pretty sure but from what i understand you know now we have something like around 20 25 crore people who are still work in agriculture but slowly slowly declining but the number of at least formal jobs that are getting created again i mean the numbers i understand is between 2 to 3 million every year but, but at least 10 million people are coming into job market every year so there is a delta and there of course informal jobs and so on so pehle to maybe you help frame ki how should we look at this whole you know you know development of job opportunities for people at large uh the first thing is it's the, this this uh, objective of making sure that incomes are more equitable and that everyone has something to do is much more than just a social necessity mm. it is also an economic necessity mm. because uh more equal societies uh are uh, have much more sustainable growth because if you think about it uh you know if you have a billionaire i mean how much can a billionaire consume right right so we are surprised we are looking so <laughs> well yeah but you know but no right. but on a sustainable basis it's very hard to do right right so you can go blow a lot of money in a hotel or whatever right but uh, but how much really can you spend yeah. and you can buy one yacht to half a billion dollars but you know if you're worth 100 billion dollars kahan khach karoge aap whereas if it was so that the marginal propensity to consume right you will have extra rupya diya to kharch hoga ki nahi khana utne khaoge ka bade utne bhar hoge exactly so so but but agar gareeb aadmi ko aapne thoda zyada paise diye to wo zyada acha khayega wo zyada acche kapde pehnega zyada bade ghar mein rahega so the marginal propensity to consume is much greater so therefore it is economically important that we have a more equal society uh, wealth wise and income wise then and both are different issues uh, then then it's just a it is there is a humanitarian aspect of it and it's a nation building aspect right bhai hamara desh is in fact and to to we will we'll come to this later on as well but if you categorize you know make a 2 by 2 i mean i sound like a consultant but you know the 2 by 2 of you know formal worker informal worker formal sector inform and informal sector so formal sector formal worker our per capita gdp is that of an upper middle income if not a rich country when that win the what 8 10000 dollars 
No, no. So, so that will be in the fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. Former sector, former jobs. Former sector, former jobs. And that is, I'm guessing you're talking the real dollar term. So, purchasing power parity to or PPP. Ha 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 ha. Exactly. But if you if you look, the reason why our average per capita income is so low is because we have very large number of sector people working in the informal sector mm-hmm. and doing informal jobs, right? So, do you largely agree then? This you know, is there a, is as part of nation building, everybody who thinks about it is involved is. The country को ज़्यादा formal jobs create करने चाहिए is that a right yeah, expectation? Yeah, yeah, it's right expectation and this is something that people have been thinking about for the last thirty years. Right, right. So it is not well. I'm, I'm sure longer than that. Right. Uh, uh, but so this is not a. You, you know, it's not. It's not rocket science. This is this is obvious, right? कि भाई लोगों के पास अच्छा rocket science की होने चाहिए कैसे करना है वो rocket science में exactly exactly यानि कैसे करना है that is the tough task, right? कि कैसे होगा और किस तरह की जॉब्स क्रिएट करनी होंगी सो एंड एंड द चैलेंज इज एंड एग्जैक्टली एज यू पुट इट कि द पेस एट विच पीपल एंटर द वर्क फोर्स और आवर द वर्किंग एज पॉपुलेशन इज समथिंग दैट यू कॉन्ट कंट्रोल मतलब जो इक्कीस साल पहले जन्मे थे वो वर्क फोर्स में आएंगे आप चाहें ना चाहें एंड वॉट विल हैपन एंड दिस इज दिस यूज टू हैपन एंड वॉज हैपनिंग एंड इट हेज रिवर्स फॉर वाई लाइक नाउ दस टू थ्री ईयर्स is that the number of people entering the workforce is smaller than the people uh, joining the work or, or coming becoming a working age population mm. depending on what you use 15 to 64 or 18 to 64 or whatever uh, because more people are getting educated mm. the percentage of 18 to 25 year olds who are either already graduates mm. or are in college is 4x what was there in 2006 Right, so which is a good thing. This is great. Some yeah, yeah, no. So well, future के लिए अच्छा है investment हो रही. But that means that they're also not in the working population. Right, so so that number is can be smaller than one crore because that one point one point one crore जो लोग बोलते हैं वो इसलिए है कि वो केवल working age population लेके. चलो range देखते हैं कि what is the right range to think about. देखिए अस्सी लाख के आसपास होने चाहिए. मेरे हिसाब से अभी क्या हुआ है यू नो somehow covid के बीच में जो PLF ऐसे होता है periodic labour force survey. उसके हिसाब से वर्कर पार्टिसिपेशन रेशियो इज एक्चुअली स्टार्टिंग टू गो अप सो इट वाज फॉलोइंग एंड नाउ इट इज स्टार्टिंग टू गो अप इसलिए लास्ट तीन चार साल में एक करोड़ के आसपास लोग वन वन पॉइंट वन करोड़ लोग हर साल वर्किंग मतलब हैव वांटेड टू वर्क एक करोड़ नए लोग बाकी नए लोग एक्सिंग काफी सारे जिनको नहीं काम मिलता है तो करीब चौवन पचपन करोड़ फिफ्टी फोर करोड़ Forty-five, forty-two, forty-five, fifty million workers exist. Right, and that out is, of possible, not nearly hundred crores. Like if your labor force participation, looking up, yeah. So, just like if you think about it, uh, 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 uh
राइट तो वो असली काम करते हैं क्योंकि उनको पैसे मिलते हैं करेक्ट पाँच सौ रुपया चार सौ रुपया छः सौ रुपया राइट दिन का मिलता है बाकी के जो ग्यारह करोड़ लोग हैं वो उनके पास सब्सिस्टेंस फार्म्स हैं और एक्चुअली कुछ लोगों के पास बिलो सब्सिस्टेंस फार्म है द नंबर ऑफ फार्मर्स विद मार्केटेबल सरप्लस इज मोर इन द्री टू फोर करोड़ रेंज तो ये जो 20-22 करोड़ लोग जो कहते हैं कि हम लोग हमारा प्राइमरी ऑक्यूपेशन फार्मिंग है उसमें से तीन चार करोड़ ही है जो लैंड ओनिंग और इतना लैंड है कि साल का बेचने लायक कुछ उपजता है ठीक है नाउ सो सो इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल सेटअप उसके लिए और जो बाकी के जो हैं वो बस की वहाँ हो रहा है खेती हो रही सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिसगाइज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन फार्मिंग so when you think about say uh, not a 22 crore or a 10 crore number mm-hmm. right the number of people that you want to create jobs for increases even more the the second is that your female labor force participation rate is very low correct you want to get more women into the workforce so if you uh, i think we had discussed this earlier if you if you can get everyone who should be in the workforce in the workforce and suitably employed Our GDP growth will be in the the benchmark. So I roughly let's assume that let's go with those numbers. And I'm out of it. I understand that किसी को भी exact number तो नहीं पता है. But directionally, let's say 1995 crores is potentially working age population. Hmm. And currently, अच्छा job, बुरा job, 54 crore people are employed. So कितना हुआ? Roughly 55, 60 percent के बीच में participation हो गया. Hmm. What is the ideal? Like it's not like 100 percent कभी नहीं होगा. What is the benchmark? Like you know, assuming if there's a magic wand. उसमें से उसमें से कुछ लोग कॉलेज जाएंगे एवरी वन कैन वर्क राइट सो यू एस इज एट अबाउट परसेंट काइंड ऑफ पार्टिसिपेशन रेट राइट तो ओके मैक्रो लेवल पे दस परसेंट का डेल्टा है यस ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट नाउ ये चौवन करोड़ उसमें इट सेल्फ की द क्वालिटी ऑफ जॉब्स मे बी अ बिगर प्रॉब्लम करेक्ट सो सो एग्रीकल्चर तो ऑलमोस्ट बाई डेफिनेशन इज हंड्रेड परसेंट इनफॉर्मल राइट उसमें कोई भी गारंटी ऑफ इनकम और ये सब नहीं है right. तो दिहाड़ी की मजदूरी है या फिर खेती में जो आप रिस्क right. ले रहे हैं ऑफ द ऑफ द अबाउट थर्टी वन थर्टी टू लेट से थर्टी करोड़ राउंड राउंड फिगर मेरे हिसाब से नौ करोड़ के आसपास फॉर्मल वर्क करें बाकी इक्कीस बाईस करोड़ जो है इनफॉर्मल वर्क करें यानी कि दे डू नॉट हैव एनी सोशल सेफ्टी नेट दे डोंट हैव एनी सर्टनटी ऑफ इनकम देर आर नो वेजेस राइट एंड मेनी ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड so uh, and and this is data that thankfully uh, the cso does provide uh-huh. which is that uh, of india's total household income mm-hmm. right 40% is wages mm-hmm. 35% is what is known as surpluses from mm-hmm. own account enterprises jo dukan chalate hain take दुकान चलाते हैं ढाबा चलाते हैं टैक्सी चलाते हैं टुक टुक चलाते हैं वट एवर राइट सो या जुगाड़ चलाते हैं सो तो सो सो दिस इज अ वेरी लार्ज नंबर सो वेन वी थिंक अबाउट कि अरे इंडिया का वेज ग्रोथ क्या है अरे भाई वेज ग्रोथ जो है वो इज ओनली फोर्टी वेजेज आर ओनली फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इनकम राइट सो वन ऑफ द रीजन दैट लो एंड कंजम्पन पोस्ट कोविड इज स्टिल वीक इज दैट दैट the surpluses of those own account enterprises mm-hmm. which had depleted significantly mm-hmm. during covid ab dukan hi band hai to khayega kya right ya agar matlab travel karke ya matlab koi jo chai ki dukan wala hai ya road side dhaba wala ki dukan hi nahi chal rahi so ya log school nahi ja rahe to jo darji jo 25 30 rupaye mein school uniform bajat banata hai usko paise hi nahi bane so so this is a very large part of employment right, right? so uh, so we need to uh i i think over time uh, migrate these and some of these will almost by definition will be a slow pace of change right. but i mean and anil friend you know you have talked about this publicly right this whole thing that you say that uh, indian needs to get rich before it gets old mm-hmm. i think the statistic you that you quote is by today median age is i think 28 mm-hmm. median or average median median right and wo same 2053 mein 40 ho jayega विच इज वेर चाइना इज टूडे तो वो तीस साल की विंडो है नाउ दिस सोसाइटल चेंज अगर वो स्लो ग्रेजुअल पेस पे होगा तो बहुत सारे लोग तो बिना इस प्रोसेस में पार्टिसिपेट किए बिना 
उस एज के पार पहुंच जाएंगे अग्री सो दो दैट इज अ चैलेंज एंड एंड दैट्स अ चैलेंज दैट वी नीड टू एड्रेस रिमेंबर दैट जो अभी पैंतीस चालीस साल के हो गए या हो गई I mean, I don't want to dismiss because uh-huh. I mean, I'm older than that, and I would still think that I can change myself and mm-hmm. you know do something productive. Oh, uh, your time was tight. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's very hard to get them into the workforce uh, in terms of the mindset, in terms of you know mm-hmm. the skills to learn it, right. like you know to learn how to learn. You know, so all of those things are yeah. very hard to change. But what we can do mm-hmm. is that the the girl or the boy who's going to be twenty five in 2047 is uh you know today 3 or 4 years old so how can we increase uh school enrollments how can we make sure that they're getting the right nutrition you know, so all of those things become very important yeah. because remember self employment kya kharab hai mm. right it may not be formal employment as you call it but so long as it is value added mm. there's nothing wrong in it right i mean finally there was a phase and i think that phase is not gone fully mm. where people said need workers are the future mm. right that you don't have to work in large firms right. so uh, so i don't see that as a the huge challenge the only challenge that i think we need to be cognizant of is that are we uh, i mean from a from a human development perspective that you know uh, are they getting in the the first 5 years when the brains are developing are they, are they getting the right nutrition uh and then from the age of 5 to 18 as they their skills are getting developed mm-hmm. as their bodies are getting developed are we sort of preparing them for the better for what yahan pe you know major wo cash to do bhi hai ki what's holding lot of these people back is it lack of nutrition lack of education skills or is lack of jobs like you know which is the chicken and egg here the for jobs ke bare mein and i know this is this is where perhaps my not being a formally trained economist is something makes me think very very differently uh if you think about the world in the last say uh, 100 years right human population has grown many times yeah four times right two billion to eight billion correct now aisa to hai nahi ki humne mars mein export karna shuru kar diya hai ya venus se import karna shuru kar diya right finally earth ke beech mein hi ho raha hai kuch bhi aisa ho raha hai so we have just uh, made sure that you know this a containerization hua this aggregation of uh, uh, of goods value chains hua this aggregation of services value chains mm-hmm. ho raha hai uh, we have we have uh, uh, you know learned to solve health problems mm-hmm. we have created new types of jobs right so and jobs are what matlab see finally har aadmi ko jaise we go back to you know 50000 years ago mm-hmm. right even before tribes were formed mm-hmm. finally You have to protect yourself. कपड़े चाहिए खाना चाहिए और रहने की जगह चाहिए राइट सो दैट्स ऑल यू नीड रोटी कपड़ा मकान राइट फाइनली लाइफ एवरी थिंग एल्स इज अज इज 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 अ प्लस प्लस इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाउ ह्यूमन सर स्ट्रक्चर सो ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स वी डू आर इन प्रोवाइडिंग गुड्स या रोटी कपड़ा मकान टू इच अदर करेक्ट तो वी हैव टू क्रिएट सो सो देर इज सम ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटिशन इन द सेंस दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू वी sort of compete in export markets for goods and services and all that and what what economies do is that they grow initially mm-hmm. by matlab thoda income badhate hain aur fir jab domestic income bhi badh jati hai usse bhi baki log bhi so it's a, it's a very that you tap into external demand so you become competitive and so that is something that we need to do right so in global goods and services mm-hmm. we definitely need to uh, become more competitive uh, what then that happens is so for example you know if a uh, if a global consulting firm uh is is uh, uh you know 100000 people in india 70000 are working for the us firm mm. right and right. and 30000 are working for india mm. and the average billing rate is 52000 dollars a year right right yani ki wo 25 lakh rupaye ki naukri generate kar rahe hain to wo agar wo koi 25 lakh saal ka agar koi kama raha hai wo bada ghar chahiye bachche ko padhane ke liye koi log chahiye wo khane ka chahiye kapde chahiye उससे पूरी डिमांड क्रिएट हो जाती है सो वन इज दैट यू 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 टैप इन टू द एक्सटर्नल डिमांड सो यू स्टार्ट बिकमिंग बिगर एक्सपोर्टर्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड यू बिकम बिगर एक्सपोर्टर ऑफ सर्विसेज एंड द सेकेंड इज वॉट वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड विच इज हाउ डू यू ब्रिंग डाउन यूनिट कॉस्ट सो दैट न्यू टाइप्स ऑफ सर्विसेज कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड 
without causing inflation right right and so so uh, both both these are i think areas right. for right. so let's let's break it down sector wise i think agriculture mein to it's inevitable ki abhi agar 21 22 crore kaam karte hain as you said ki really to lot of surplus generation wale to 4 5 crore hi hain but jo bhi wo number hai wo to kam hoga hi wo matlab automation aa raha hai productivity yeah, improve ho rahi hai and so on wo badhega to nahi then the other big sectors are you know manufacturing services and construction so manufacturing mein again you know the data that i am looking at ki kareeb 6 crore jobs jobs hai manufacturing in india mein uh, compared to china mein 165 million to kitna 16 17 crore ho gaye and which has been big part of at least china's story like you know they really became the factory of the world over last 30 years and in the process a lot of migration happened from the smaller town or rural areas to this thing uh, no, no no but see this is this is where uh, i think you so you have to think about what is manufacturing hmm. okay right so uh, and and see china's a comparison ek hai hmm. we'll we'll get to that uh, i think my point is also just to you know finish that ki is manufacturing likely to be a big role uh, is that a sector which has to eventually employ more to go deeper than that uh, before we answer that sure, question right because हर किसी को मैन्युफैक्चरिंग लगता है बड़ी बड़ी फैक्ट्री तो कॉटेज लेवल भी हो सकते हैं वेरी लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज एपरल एंड टेक्सटाइल राइट ठीक है राइट वो मोजे बनाने से लेके वो डेढ़ सौ रुपए की स्वेटर जो दिल्ली के हल्का बाजार में मिलती है उस तरह से सो देट्स अ वेरी लार्ज द सेट ऑफ जॉब्स राइट now in order for us to compete globally we need to automate we need to do a lot of those things but but to uh, but that's one very large part of manufacturing the second very large part of manufacturing is food mm. right so so what starts to happen if you think about the percentage of calories that you used to take when you were a child mm. which were cooked outside mm. uh, versus what you eat now mm. right and think about how how specialization has happened mm. in the sense that कोई ऐसा है तो या तो पैकेज फूड या फूड कुक मतलब कुछ स्टार्ट मालूम है इसके बारे में कि वो पर्सनल कैलोरी आउटसाइड वर्स इन हाउस कैसे कितना चेंज हुआ है कुछ आई आई यूज टू नो दिस मुझे अभी याद नहीं है बट लुक बट यू नो इसी इफ अगर दो हजार इक्कीस सौ कैलोरी पर कैपिटा अगर यू नो एवरेज कंजम्पन है would be currently cooked Absolutely. outside Absolutely. which includes packaged food and the reason i i don't know is the 46% of cpi mm-hmm. consumer price index is food mm-hmm. usme se mere khayal se processed food is about 6 6 and a half okay. i think restaurants thoda zyada hoga samajh gaya to usko main jod jad ke aur usme kya hai ki external calories are more expensive mm-hmm. at least restaurant wali right aur jo packaged food processed food is that's actually cheaper mm-hmm. cheapest form of calories today is maybe a parleji biscuit and a maggi noodles right yeah. is a healthy nutrition value also <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh. yeah, but but uh, yeah, it, it, it is actually on a on a ingested calorie mm. basis uh, those are much cheaper which is why we are getting so to see some of these problems right, right. Oh, health problems Correct. and all okay. that right uh, but anyway to so, so, 30 years so, pehle to almost neglig- negligible hoga ye kam hoga lowest yes. lowest yes. abhi 20 25% percent will do will look it up also later samajh so, gaya so what happens is that there you are then getting specialization mm. jaise अगर जैसे हमारी दादी को लगता था कि अरे सब्जी तो अपने बगाने खानी चाहिए राइट विच इज ग्रेट राइट बट मतलब इज दैट द बेस्ट मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव यूज ऑफ योर टाइम आई मीन इट गुड टू हैव फ्रेश वेजिटेबल्स ऑल दैट बट समय कितना लगता है एंड सो एज यू नो पीपल स्टार्ट स्पेशलाइजिंग कि वो जैसे वो एक एकड़ जमीन में वो छः लाख रुपये की सब्जी उगा सकते हैं राइट कुछ कुछ फार्मर्स होते हैं तो बाय अच्छी बात है सबको सस्ती सब्जी मिलेगी करेक्ट uh, वैसे ही अगर कोई जैसे uh, धारावी में बैठ के वो चिप्स uh, जैसे हमारी मदर भी बहुत बढ़िया पटेटो चिप्स में आती हैं वो जब आती हैं तो हमारे सबको तो जो है वो उन्हें दादी बनाओ बनाओ बट इफ यू लुक एट इट ऑन अ कॉस्ट बेसिस इट इज मच चीफर टू गेट इट डन इन धारावी एंड पैकेज इन दोज डी प्लास्टिक सो द पॉइंट इज that specialization needs to happen mm-hmm. now are you allowing so we are getting back to the, ah. the, the job creation question yeah. are you allowing for that specialization to happen mm-hmm. and is that specialization uh, so what do you need for that to happen mm-hmm. so you need to ease ki agar kisi ko company bana ke 
करना है तो आपको कंपनी बनाने में फ्रिक्शन है क्या अगर जब आप ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं तो आपको एनर्जी एक्सेस एफिशिएंटली मिल रहा है कि नहीं आपको जैसे आपको पकाने कुकिंग इज अबाउट एनर्जी ओनली ना तो आपको अगर बिजली बहुत महंगी मिल रही है तो आप नहीं बनाएंगे क्योंकि अगर आपने हाउस होल्ड को एनर्जी सब्सिडाइज की हुई है और इंडस्ट्री को महंगा किया हुआ है आप हाउस होल्ड को तीन रुपये में दे रहे हो वहाँ पर दस रुपये में दे रहे हो तो कोई बाहर बनाएगा ही नहीं so so are you are you creating you know freer energy markets are you uh, uh, making it easy jaise ab wo informal bed ke chhota chhota bana raha hai if you ask and so there have been surveys conducted mm-hmm. ki bhai aap informal kyun hain mm-hmm. right ki aapne uh, because see beyond a certain scale you need formal funding tab to aap machine lagayenge lekin like informal ko samjha bhi dete hain ki exactly informal ka matlab kya hota hai informal ka matlab hai ki aapne koi aap bas नहीं किया है तो आप एक लेवल के बियॉन्ड स्केल ही नहीं कर सकते और जब आप उस लेवल के बियॉन्ड स्केल नहीं कर सकते तो आप मशीनरी नहीं लगा सकते या एक सी देर इज बैंक से हाँ और इकोनॉमी और स्केल होती है ना कि आप एक ही चीज को आप जैसे दस लोग बैठ के वो अच्छे से बनाएंगे तो ऑब्वियसली फ्रॉम सम वन लर्निंग द स्किल फ्रॉम चाइल्ड हुड एंड देन कुकिंग एंड देन यूजिंग द बेस्ट टाइम सी इफ एवरी वन इज स्पेंडिंग से टू आवर्स कुकिंग एवरी डे एंड डूइंग इट इफ इनफिशेंटली वर्जेस मशीन्स एंड सम पीपल डूइंग इट एंड इन हेल्दी मैनर बींग एबल टू ट्रांसफर दैट इज वेयर प्रोडक्टिविटी कम्स इन समझ गया तो वन पॉइंट यू आर मेकिंग की मैन्युफैक्चरिंग डज नॉट ओनली मीन दिस मल्टा यू नो हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर फैक्ट्रीज but very small scale manufacturing uh, establishment which may have 5 to 50 people is also important component it is a very important component i mean 70 80% of employment in the us is uh, msmes aur usko facilitate karne ke liye policy level pe kafi cheez ho sakti hai is what oh kya hota hai jo chhota babu hai jisko ki wo certification dena hai mujhe kyun de bhai pooch lijiye right and wo goose dene ke uske paise nahi hai ya irritation hai ya वो उसको गुस्सा आ गया और नहीं नहीं जाएंगे नहीं नहीं चाहिए लाइसेंस एंड देन यू रिमेन स्मॉल सो हाउ कैन यू ईज दिस दिस लाइक फ्रिक्शनल प्रोसेस तो एक सवाल उसमें सोल्यूशन निकलता है कि भाई सब कुछ ऑनलाइन कर दो उसमें भी खैर लोग उसमें पेज निकाल लेते हैं बट पॉइंट इज दैट इन ऑर्डर फॉर दीज बिजनेस टू ग्रो एंड नॉट गेट स्टक्स इन फैक्ट क्या हुआ था जैसे जब फैक्ट्रीज एक्ट में ये था कि अगर आप आपकी फैक्ट्री में 10 से ज्यादा वर्कर हैं mm. तो आपको फैक्ट्री एक्ट में रजिस्टर करना पड़ेगा अगर आ, मतलब नहीं 19 mm. और अगर आ, नहीं सर इफ इट इज मेकेनाइज देन इट इज 10 इफ इट इज नॉन मेकेनाइज देन 20 mm. तो एज यू कैन इमेजिन देर आर वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फॉर्म्स विद नाइन पीपल एंड देर आर वेरी लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल विद नाइनटीन पीपल विच टेल्स यू कि Uh, जो जो कि इट वॉज द रेगुलेशन विच वॉज स्टॉपिंग द फॉर्म्स फ्रॉम स्केलिंग आउट एंड सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट रेगुलेशन हैज टू डू इज टू स्टॉप दैट समझ या एंड लुक दे हो मीन देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म इन इंडिया एंड राइटली सो लॉर्ड ऑफ मेजर रिफॉर्म्स एंड इनेबलमेंट हैज हैपन्ड एज वी डिस्कस इंडिया स्टैक ऑल्सो इज बीन ह्यूज इनेबलर तो ये जो एरिया है माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेस को ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस इस पे काम हो रहा है शुड बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक अगले पांच साल में इक्वेशन काफी चेंज हो सकती है लाइक व्हाट विजिबिलिटी डू यू हैव और नो नो आई आई टू थिंक दैट दिस थिंग्स आर प्रोग्रेसिंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन इट इज आल्सो आई थिंक रीजनेबल टू थिंक दैट थिंग्स विल नॉट मूव एज फास्ट एज वी वुड लाइक इट टू which is why we are going to keep growing at 7% plus but not at 8 9% mm. which is because uh, you know so even 10 years later if we keep growing at 7 we'll still remain a lower middle income economy mm. and we'll have all the warts and the problems of some local babu and just saying ji bhai bhai hum to raja hain aapko jo karna hai kar lo mm. uh, so to uh, uh, and and you know cleaning up municipal governments which give out these licenses mm. or or uh, for the state governments to wake up and say ji mm. bhai just getting large companies mm. to invest in your setup is not mm. enough right so if you if you open up uh, or or you ease how small mm. businesses and small factories grow and develop the number of jobs you can create a phenomenal mm. because see that is how productivity changes there mm. was see i have the benefit of neither being an economist nor being a policy 
पर्सन सो आई कैन आस वेरी नाइव क्वेश्चन थिंग अब जैसे कंपनी में हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि कुछ हो रहा होता है बोलते हैं यार ज़्यादा ग्रो क्यों नहीं कर सकते इसमें क्या बॉटल ने क्या है तो यहाँ पे इफ़ यू बिलीव कि फास्टर पॉलिसी इनेबलमेंट कैन यू नो अनलॉक लॉट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैपेसिटी एट यू नो ग्रास रूट्स लेवल विच कैन ऑल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट जी डी वो धीरे क्यों होगा लाइक आई मीन कंट्री हैज़ डन लॉट ऑफ रिफॉर्म्स एट ए वेरी यू नो ब्रेक नेक प्लेस ऑल्सो सात परसेंट पर ग्रो भी तो कर रहे हैं हाँ वो कर रहे हैं बट आई मीन समवेयर यू डू थिंक कि आठ नो भी पॉसिबल है हाँ और मोर इम्पोर्टेंट आई थिंक पॉइंट ऑफ टू डेज डिस्कशन इज कि यार ज्यादा लोगों को जॉब होगा सबके लिए अच्छा होगा नहीं सो इफ यू इफ यू टेक द सो टेक स्नैप शॉट एंड देन वील फिगर आउट द पाथ राइट सो यू टेक अ स्नैप शॉट की इंडिया इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन और फिफ्टी थ्री इज अ डेवलप्ड कंट्री जस्ट एंड सो वट इज द Uh, what is the labor allocation to various sectors uh, uh, and and what is the level of automation in every sector mm. what's the productivity in every sector right and so when you start thinking like that and you say that look uh, when that happens uh, you will actually be seeing a lot fewer people in farming because farming will be reasonably well automated you don't need so many people sort of uh, you know having small flocks of mm. uh, chicken or sheep or cows and mm. small tracts of land much more automation you should see uh, a lot more of services mm-hmm. india should be providing very high value add services so when you look at those snapshots mm-hmm. and then you figure out ki bhai wahan jaane ke liye kya karna hoga mm-hmm. the first thing is you need a lot of capital yeah right so so are we getting enough capital mm-hmm. are we not just getting enough capital from outside mm-hmm. are we creating channels and this is what we discussed in the first episode if you remember uh, of giving it in the right size to the right people mm-hmm. right so how are those channels being created and yeah. so like you know the account aggregator model for mm-hmm. for lending uh, a very very uh, diversified and locally available venture capital mm-hmm. system for equity so so what capital availability will be second is that are you uh, allowing businesses to grow without friction jaise two friends of mine uh, recently started a own fund mm-hmm. right now wo abhi registration ka wait kar rahe hain mm-hmm. now Of course, they are restless. You go शुरू करना है कि दो महीने ना अभी तो चलिए दो तीन महीने में हो जाता है अब अगर उसमें दो साल लगा देंगे आप तो आधे लोग तो फंड ही शुरू नहीं करेंगे सो सो देर आर रेगुलेटरी बैरियर्स टू इट विच पीपल डोंट अप्रिशिएट आर एक्चुअली अ वेरी बिग बैरियर राइट सो आर वी ईजिंग सम ऑफ दो थिंग्स इफ सम वन वॉन्ट्स टैक्स सर्टनटी लेकिन हाउ मच टाइम टू डे इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन spending in just making sure that the documents are in the right place mm-hmm. or sorting out tax tax issues or or worrying about tax issues right mm-hmm. and so can you give that clarity mm-hmm. and the moment you start doing that uh, it 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 becomes in it's in everyone or it is in the firm's interest and therefore the society's interest and the economy's interest that that uh, productivity starts to go up mm-hmm. or, and these firms will specialize in something koi ट्रेडिंग में स्पेशलाइज करेगा कोई मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में स्पेशलाइज करेगा कोई हेल्थ केयर में स्पेशलाइज करेगा एंड देन द द कॉस्ट ऑफ दैट सर्विस और गुड स्टार्ट्स टू फॉल इट बिकम्स मच मोर अफोर्डेबल टू मोर पीपल राइट एंड दे स्टार्ट कंज्यूमिंग मोर ऑफ इट आई नो समवन इन हिंदुस्तान लिव वॉज टेलिंग मी दैट एट वन रुपी क्लिनिक प्लस शैम्पू सैशे दर इज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर ऑफ दैम सोल्ड एवरी ईयर राइट ना इफ यू डिड नॉट हैव दैट तो उतना शैम्पू नहीं होता ना उनको इतना इनकम होती सो यू हैव टू यू नो क्रिएट एंड टू दे इज अ चिकन एन एक प्रॉब्लम कि जब इनकम नहीं है तो कंज्यूम कैसे करेगा कंज्यूम नहीं करेगा तो प्रोड्यूस कैसे करेगा तो द वे टू सॉल्व दिस इज वन टू एक्सपोर्ट एंड जनरेट द इनकम सो दैट डिमांड गेट क्रिएटेड एंड द सेकेंड इज टू ब्रिंग डाउन यूनिट कॉस्ट जस्ट लाइक वी डिड विद यू पी आई एंड देन मेक इट मच मोर अफोर्डेबल राइट I'm still wondering, you know, this whole. I mean, that's. Uh, I do not think of that way. Like this whole idea of, you know, manufacturing. बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन पूछने वाला था. But मेरा वही होता है कि वो factory को enable करने में क्या क्या कर रहे हैं. But now that you have brought this point, कि you know, micro enterprises can play a massive role. तो उसको enablement को accelerate करने के लिए. It's a. कब और कैसे? You know, I'm sure काम तो हो ही रहा होगा. Obviously, you know, the government is so very progressive. So both things have to be done. So now, so how to do it, right? So, so the first is that you be in the right sectors. Uh-huh. right so so and, and so there is an export story and there is a domestic sure. story right so uh, so you can do import substitution also uh-huh. in a way but ab jaise eete banani hai ha made ab jaise itne sare ghar banenge see roti kapda makan mein housing is the biggest spend right so we have discussed in the past that 
कंस्ट्रक्शन सेम एज मैनुफैक्चरिंग अगेन आई डोंट नो मैक्रो डेटा छः छः करोड़ दोनों में लोग एंड एंड सो कंस्ट्रक्शन इनफैक्ट uh this is the direct construction labor mm. but if you look at construction materials also ah, the, there is there is much more like in a very reasonable part of manufacturing is mm. brick making tamazia to uh, so or, or you know wood panels because if you think about you know mm. demand uh agar uh, ek family uh, roti kapda mein jo saal ka kharch karti hai mm. usko agar aap तीस साल के लिए कर दो मुना कर दो राइट एक मतलब यू नो बिकॉज उसके बाद तो बच्चे बड़े चल बाहर चले जाएंगे उसके बाद तो एनी वे द एक्सपेंडिचर ड्रॉप्स एंड यू कंपेयर दैट कि वो एक घर खरीदने में कितना पैसा खर्च करते हैं घर खरीदने का खर्चा बम्बई नहीं हर शहर में विल बी मच मोर देन वॉट डू ऑन रोटी एंड कपड़ा सो बट इफ यू आई वेंट एंड आई रिमेंबर आस्किंग सम वन वेरी सीनियर इन द एम पी गवर्नमेंट कि आपके यहाँ कितने ब्रिक किल्स हैं यू नो आइडिया ईंट के बटे हुए हैं और उसमें अगर आप वो सब इलीगल होती हैं और सब छोटे सेटअप होते हैं बहुत छोटे सेटअप होते हैं उसमें प्रोडक्टिविटी नहीं है जब प्रोडक्टिविटी नहीं है तो ईट महंगी हो जाती है जब ईट महंगी होती है तो लोग घर कम बनाते हैं बट आपने उसको फॉर्मलाइज करके अच्छा उसमें क्या है वही वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट है वो सैंड माफिया है वो उसमें जो कोल का स्मगलिंग वाला माफिया है तो उन सबको अब करने के लिए आपको इन्फॉर्म लगना वो आई मीन आई इट इट वाज आई वाज शॉक ही सेड आठ या नौ भट्टियाँ भट्टी हैं जो हमारे यहाँ रजिस्टर्ड हैं पूरे मध्य प्रदेश दो हजार तेरह की बात बता रहा हूँ गाँव में आप ट्रेवल करो सब जगह देखते हैं क्योंकि सबको घर बनाने अभी मेरे को याद आ रहा है मैं जहाँ पे रहता था मेरे घर के आसपास ही तीन चार थी जैसे इफ यू थिंक भैया जो छह करोड़ के जो नंबर है दो हजार बारह सी तक अगेन प्रॉब्लम है इसकी वो जो एम्प्लॉयमेंट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सर्वे जो एन एस एस ओ करता है नेशनल सैम्पल सर्वे अपने देश तो वो दो हजार बारह में लास्ट हुआ था तो डेटा इज सो वेरी आउटडेटेड बट उसके हिसाब से सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉब्स वर इन रूरल हाउसिंग राइट सो बिकॉज सी अगर सड़सठ पर सिक्सटी सेवन सिक्सटी एट परसेंट उस समय तो वही था इफ 69% of the people are living in uh, rural areas. तो वो घर से वहां पे और वहां तो और वहां पे कंस्ट्रक्शन इज अ लॉट लेस ऑटोमेटेड करेक्ट राइट वो तो सर पे उठाओ और जाके वहां एक-एक करके ईट लगाओ तो सो इफ यू कैन सो अभी तो क्या चलिए सबके पक्के घर हो गए बट वो घर का क्वालिटी इंप्रूव हो सकता है राइट एंड 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 इफ द क्वालिटी ऑफ द हाउस इंप्रूव्स सो मच मनी सो मच टाइम इज सेव्ड I mean, you know, I, you, I I guess even you wouldn't have lived in a house with a mud floor, mm. but was it very hard to maintain? Mm. Right? Imagine that you have to clean the clothes every day. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. So, you have to go to the house every week. you know a wall with no insulation mm-hmm. imagine the quality of life and mm-hmm. so you know if you if you start thinking about productivity at that level mm-hmm. a lot of the solutions become very obvious mm-hmm. that does not mean that we'll be able to solve them mm-hmm. but at least the direction of travel becomes clear samajh gaya got it so and maybe let's cover the other aspect of manufacturing which is much larger setup because they bring technology automation you know economies of scale and so on and 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 they become like the the aircraft carriers which support mm. a whole flotilla right ships. exactly unke supplier honge part supplier and so on so where are we on that in because like this uh, make in india has been a you know big campaign and you know, from the again from what i understand lot of green shoots lot of investment is happening even things like in, you know people are setting up uh, semiconductor fabs in india iphone manufacturing is happening in india at a very big scale so where are we headed in that and Is it wrong? Uh, reason to believe that in next five to ten years will generate substantial number of this large-scale manufacturing jobs in India. Yeah. So, uh, as with most things in India, I mean it's a mixed bag, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, in, uh, I think in some we are making giant strides. Okay. In in others, uh, we can okay. do better. Okay. Right. So, um, and uh, so clearly, as you said, in electronics assembly, mm-hmm. we have we have come a long way. is a very still a long way to go uh, so so in a uh, you know 6 trillion dollar 
ग्लोबल एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट एंड इज अ लॉट ऑफ राउंड ट्रिमिंग सर्कुलर ट्रेडिंग थोड़ा सा वैल्यू एड होके तो इज अ डबल काउंटिंग देर नॉट सर्कुलर ट्रेडिंग डबल काउंटिंग देर अच्छा India's numbers are still less than twenty-five million dollars. I mean, maybe twenty-five million dollars, right? So it's a it's it's something that has enormous scope to grow, but the growth numbers are astounding. No, it's just my answer. Twenty-five billion dollars of export in a six trillion dollar global electronic exports. Yeah. So it was my definitions. Guy, like HS code eighty-four, eighty-five. Mm-hmm. This is about the export numbers. So, us me machinery and electronics both included in eighty-four, eighty-five. Ah, un dono codes me. इंडिया का लास्ट फिजिकल ईयर का नंबर जो है वो मेरे ख्याल से तेईस चौबीस बिलियन डॉलर था वी आर मोस्टली एबसेंट द एम्बिशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज टू मेक इट हंड्रेड थर्टी बिलियन डॉलर बाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स बट आई थिंक कोविड के कारण एक दो साल से इधर उधर हो गया ट्वेंटी एट तो मतलब अगले तीन चार साल में वो नंबर जो है वो फोर फाइव एक्स होने वाला है एंड मोस्ट पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस इन दिस इंडस्ट्री दिस से कि हो जाएगा Right, the direction of travel is, and investments are happening. You know, See. so uh, and and it's a very important step. Mm. Uh, so once that happens, the shuru me lagega ki arey isme do das pandra percent value add hai, right? So kya ho gaya? But jaise hi wo banna shuru hota hai, to wo aspas ke jo jo immediate jo some component supplier hai, unki factory ani shuru hogi. Fir usme bahut sare jobs create hoge. So uh, so I think that process is on. Semiconductors. I must say, given where we are now, mm-hmm. it is while we are making. I think we've made astounding progress in the last one and a half years. Is still a long way to go uh, compared to worrying whether anyone will ever invest in India. To now getting a lot of good proposals, very exciting. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm actually involved in some of these processes, and I'm, I'm so I mean, like almost jumping with joy as to how much progress we made. Uh, but yeah, still a long way to go. But still, we have to be pragmatic that this is not a labor-intensive industry. Neither is it. uh something that even in an upstream basis creates a lot of jobs mm-hmm. so it will create it will require uh, uh water and gases and mm-hmm. a lot of other things but it's something which is required from a geopolitical geo strategic perspective right. but yeah electronics i think we have done so a good job here. i think where we are we need to do a much better job is is apparel footwear mm-hmm. and food products and app- half food ka mujhe nahi pata but apparel footwear mein seems like we have lost some jobs as well i think uh, Vietnam, Bangladesh. We've not lost, we've not lost jobs. So if you look at India's share, it's actually flattened. Uh, so, uh, but maybe they have benefited from China job moving out. China का वन लोग ऐसे ऐसे गिरा है, और तो उन लोगों का ऐसे गया है, हमारे flat है. So we have not benefited from it. Uh, some of it is is uh, the regulation like this. Bangladesh है. So Bangladesh, I think to their credit, they have taken advantage of the constraints, and so you know it's like winning a match, right? क्यों वो बारिश हो गई नहीं हुई मतलब मैच तो जीते ना पॉइंट इज सो जीत गए वो लोग लेकिन लुक एट द एनवायरनमेंट राइट सो 80 परसेंट प्लस ऑफ देर एक्सपोर्ट इज एपरल सो इट्स नॉट दैट यू एपरल के अलावा कहीं कुछ उन्होंने कुछ महान काम किया है दूसरा अ वेरी लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ दिस एपरल एक्सपोर्ट इज कॉटन एपरल एंड विद इन दैट लार्ज कॉटन एपरल सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज यूरोप वेर दे हैव अ टैक्स एडवांटेज बिकॉज वो एल डी सी लेस डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज Yeah, so I I don't want to dismiss a whole country like that, but when I look at the numbers, I mean I sense that now that their per capita incomes have grown and now that they're not they're going to start losing that that. So to their credit, they identified one thing and they played it to the hilt. Yes, but it's not uh, transferable to you know. Yeah, areas. so it is it is there are not a lot of lessons that you can get out of uh, their their success there, uh, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, but Vietnam has has played it well, right? So Vietnam has also benefited mm-hmm. from being right next to China, right. mm-hmm. because then the supply chains become shorter. Um, uh, so yeah, so lots of challenges in textile and footwear and uh, apparel and footwear, um, especially on the non-cotton side, mm-hmm. right? So uh, so artificial uh, uh, fabric may uh, we have we have uh, not done well at all. There are. many explanations and if you're interested we can discuss that but uh, it's something that we need to get right mm. uh, i think food processing and uh, agricultural exports mm. are another area where uh, we should be doing a lot more than what we are doing now so ye to jo do wo jo 20 22 crore log agriculture mein hai assume like you know this fantasizing ki instead of this raw material production some of it transfers into food processing and or, been, yeah or or do flowers mm. i mean in the 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 dutch 
given their cost, uh, can you imagine, are dominant in so many different parts of you know fruits and flowers, mm. and with our low with our right. cost of production. Mm. We are struggling now. There are areas where we are starting to make giant strides, like mm. bananas. Mm. Uh, I think in the last three, four years, we have phenomenal progress, yeah. mm. right? Uh, in in terms of you know uh, capturing markets, mm. creating supplies, uh, and and uh, there was a. I mean, I think in poultry we are doing well. I think in mm. fisheries we are doing very well. Mm. So we are starting to solve that problem. And and there are things which we do which are shocking, which is. That ninety percent of deep sea fishing in India's not maritime zone, but you know, it's, it's not within our mm. zone, but you know, like Indian Ocean, mm. is not done by India. Mm. So, uh, so we don't just don't have capabilities. Right. Well, those are opportunities as well. So. Yes, yes. And not, so, so when you are at two thousand six hundred dollars uh, per capita, there are lots of opportunity. Right. <laughs> but um, but but uh, you know we have not acted on them. Okay, let's talk about services because in the end, bulk of the job creation has to happen there. That's how I mean maybe China might have been exception, but most countries as they develop, you know, manufacturing में automation में काफी तक आ जाता है and so on. A services has to consume the you know, largest number of jobs. So where and China is also an exception. So you're absolutely right. I, mean, I have no disagreement. I'll just add on to that okay. argument by saying that uh, China is also indulged in systematic financial repression mm. to enable their dominance of global goods supply chain. Financial repression of who? Of Chinese. Okay, explain. Uh, in fact, and and uh, just so that. People don't think that this is a more recent occurrence. The first noted instance of financial repression in China is during the Tang Dynasty. Anyway, so how how do they do it? Right. So so the fact is, that in your policy, that by FD, or bank deposits, there is no other way of investing. So what happens is that the whole the banking system go mm. 2% with cost of capital so very cheap capital and at the cost of the people's wealth not growing so ha to wo aapne aap kuch bhi kamaye agar aapki saving hai to aur aur social safety net nahi hai pension assets in china as a percentage of gdp are lower than that of india to agar aap 50 saal ke hain aap kharch bhi nahi see you can say ki aap 2% deposit mein kharch kar lete hain wo log unhone jaan bujh ke social safety net nahi banaya अब जान बुझ के बनाया कि नहीं पता नहीं लेट मी नॉट एस्क्राइब इंटेंशंस बट बट नहीं है नहीं तो अब क्या है कि आप 50 साल के हैं आपको 10 साल में रिटायरमेंट आ रही है एक्चुअली 58 में रिटायरमेंट है दे नॉट इवन रेज दैट तो तो आप आप पैसे बचाओगे उसमें रिटर्न ही नहीं है और होता क्या है कि फिर आपने 2% डिपॉजिट ले लिया तो अब आपके बैंक जो है 6% पे लोन देंगे तो सस्ता हो गया ग्लोबली हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स बैक राइट जैसे नो व्हेन द डच स्टार्टेड टू मीट द ब्रिटिश in the 17th century when both countries were co- competing actually the belgium and netherlands started becoming rich much before the uk right yeah. and the big reason was the dutch were good savers so the cost mm-hmm. of capital was low and therefore globally you could compete hamare yahan pe kisi bhi company ko 10 12% ke niche interest nahi milega wahan 6% hi milta hai acha wahan pe jo jo ye philosophy hai uh socialized losses and privatized gains jaise मुझे एक मैं नाम नहीं लूँगा बट बहुत बड़े इंडिया में बड़े ऑन्टरप्रनर इनकी कंपनी बेचारी डूब गई अब बट वो बेचारे तो नहीं है तो डूब गई कंपनी उनकी तो तो वो मुझे समझा रहे थे कि देखो तुम लोग जो ये सब बोलते हो कि ये बैंक्स ने लोन दिया और ख़राब हो गया यार कैपिटल कहाँ से आएगा इक्विटी कैपिटल तो है ही नहीं इंडिया में किसी के पास वेल्थ ही नहीं है तो अगर बैंक ने मुझे सस्ते में लोन नहीं दिया होता तो क्या होता ना दैट्स वन फिलोसफी द इशू इज कि अगर आपने खूब सारा लेवरेज लेके तो बिजनेस चल गया आपका तो आप भी लेने को जाओगे बहुत जल्दी एंड बिकॉज लेवरेज इज सो हाई बट अगर खराब होगा तो पब्लिक का पैसा पब्लिक का पैसा डूबेगा ये चाइना ने सिस्टमेटिकली किया है राइट कि उन्होंने सबसे पैसे तो दिस इज फाइनेंशियल रिप्रेशन सो इससे क्या होता है जैसे अभी भी थिंक अबाउट इट अभी रियल एस्टेट में हालत खराब है वो डेमोग्राफिक शिफ्ट हो गया घर की डिमांड अब गिरने वाली है किसी को घर चाहिए नहीं मैंने तो छः ट्रिलियन डॉलर सोचा था कोई बता रहा था पंद्रह ट्रिलियन डॉलर के 
का पैसा जो है हाउस होल्ड ने डेवलपर्स को दिया हुआ है जो घर कम्प्लीट ही नहीं हुए लाइक अब वो पंद्रह टे लेने छः टे लेने छः टे लेने बहुत बड़ा नंबर है राइट तो अब जिसके पैसे फंसे हुए वो कहाँ कंज्यूम करेगा राइट तो रियल एस्टेट से पैसा जा रहा है लेकिन अब ग्रोथ सपोर्ट करनी है और कंजम्पन तो होगा नहीं जैसे मैंने कहा था कि अब आप पेंशन एसेट है नहीं सबकी उम्र जो है वो 40 के ऊपर में लाइब्रेज चालीस क्रॉस कर चुका है कितने सारे लोग पचास पचपन की उम्र में किसी को कंज्यूम कर एंड फोर टू वन का सिस्टम है राइट फोर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स टू पेरेंट्स और एक बच्चा तो जो एक कपल है उनको तो आठ लोगों को सपोर्ट करना है राइट तो कैसे करेंगे तो इसलिए वो कंज्यूम करेंगे नहीं अब सरकार क्या कर रही है कि फिर से कैपेसिटी एक्सपेंशन हो रहा है डिड यू नो चाइना में कार मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैपेसिटी अभी 50 मिलियन की हो गई उनकी डोमेस्टिक डिमांड की गई थी 28 मिलियन पे 38 मिलियन पे ग्लोबल ऑटो डिमांड पर्सनल व्हीकल का डिमांड 80 मिलियन है 84 मिलियन है पचास मिलियन की कैपेसिटी चाइना में बन गई है और केपेक्स बढ़ रहा है लास्ट दो साल में बीस बीस परसेंट बढ़ा ये सब इंडिया नहीं कर सकता करना भी नहीं चाहिए राइट आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज अ सस्टेनेबल मॉडल फॉर ग्रोथ राइट सो सो कमिंग बैक टू दिस राइट सो यू कैन नॉट डू वॉट चाइना डेड राइट राइट एंड 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 यू शुड नॉट डू वॉट चाइना डेड सो वॉट कैन यू डू एंड विच इज वेयर यू कम टू द सर्विस इज क्वेश्चन सी अ लॉट ऑफ सो इफ यू एंड दैट इज वेयर आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ बाई सेंग इफ यू रिमेंबर की इक्विटेबल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इनकम्स इज a much more sustainable and a stronger impetus to growth uh, than you can think of so just before you know i think this is fascinating nil content before one services so in bolne dur ke dol swab ne to waise bahar badi lagta hai ki china ne 30 saal tak you know 90% ka at least 20 saal gdp growth maintain kiya itni sari log poverty ke bahar aaye per capita income 10000 dollars se cross ho gaya and all of that but what you're saying ki if you look you know closely There are a lot of deep structural issues yeah. that country is facing. It's like almost optically, बहुत बढ़िया लग रहा है बाहर से, but it is not necessarily translating to very good quality of life. And there is a some bit of at least low grade exploitation. Hmm. कि वो public का पैसा use करके इतना भयंकर infrastructure investment करा दिया है. And hence, you know, NPS. I think China में काफी दम चले आ रहे हैं. पर अब तक कितना clean हुआ कब तो NPS का issue है ना. You know, see, one is that I, I think to their credit. Uh, you see, they've got a lot of people into college. Mm. I think their average life expectancy has improved. It's now higher than in the US. Uh, higher, higher than in the US. But oh, कैसे होगा मतलब जो earlier point कि social security net नहीं है आठ साठ साल में वो retire हो जाएंगे और ज़्यादा जी भी रहे हैं नहीं नहीं तो होता क्या है ना you know so एक तो कि आदमी की expectations change होते रहती हैं right I mean so what I think is a good quality of life mm. now is very different from what I thought was good every life when I was in college right. Mm. सो so, वैसे ही वहाँ पे भी आई थिंक दैट इज देयर सो सो इट इज ऑलवेज इंक्रीमेंटल जी आपने 18 19 ट्रिलियन की इकोनॉमी तो क्रिएट कर लिए सो इट्स अ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट एंड आई थिंक इट इज इट इज द फास्टेस्ट एंड द इन द यू नो मोस्ट स्केल्ड रिडक्शन इन और नंबर ऑफ पॉवर्टी एंड बेसिकली जो एक स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग आपने मुहैया करा दी वहाँ पे भी रूरल एरियाज में एटी नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ पीपल है वॉशिंग मशीन एंड रेफ्रिजरेटर राइट सो दैट इज फाइन वट आई एम थिंकिंग वट आई एम सेंग इज दैट आपका ग्रोथ का प्रोपोर्शन से क्या होता है ना ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स टेक अ स्टेप बैक इकोनॉमी में या तो जब जो भी एक्टिविटी होती है या तो इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए होती है या कंजम्पन के लिए होती है उसका डेफिनेशन ये है कंजम्पन हुआ कि हमने अभी खाना खा लिया बच गया इन्वेस्टमेंट होता है कि हमने घर बनाया फैक्ट्री बनाई सड़क बनाई राइट ना देर इज अ सर्टन सस्टेनेबल मॉडल क्या होता है कि अगर आप केवल कंज्यूम करते जाओगे तो एक लेवल के बियॉन्ड फिर यू विल रन आउट ऑफ कैपेसिटी तो फिर दाम बढ़ने शुरू हो जाएंगे तो आपको इन्वेस्टमेंट भी करते रहना है चीन ने क्या किया है कि अब 45 परसेंट उनका जीडीपी इन्वेस्टमेंट ही है भाई कंज्यूम कौन करेगा इंडिया कहाँ पर है दैट्स सेम रेशियो 45 फाइव सो ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट ट्वेंटी 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 एट ट्वेंटी एज ऑफ नाउ पीक साइकिल साइकिलिकल होता है पीक पे थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स था अभी बहुत साल से गिर रहा था विच इज़ वाई आई थिंक नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर गुड बी गुड बिकॉज अब कैपेसिटी खत्म हो गई है तो अब सब जगह पे प्लांट लगाने और घर बनाने हैं ऑल दैट सो रियल एस्टेट साइकिल जो शुड डिस्कस इन द फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट नाउ सो तो होता क्या है ना कि आपने जैसे 45 परसेंट आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट है तो क्या होता है कि जब फैक्ट्री आप बना रहे हैं दैट इज जीडीपी बिकॉज दैट कंज्यूम स्टील दैट कंज्यूम सीमेंट दैट कंज्यूम लेबर कंज्यूम ऑटोमेशन मशीनरी बना डिमा बट अगर वो फैक्ट्री यूज नहीं होगी तो इनकम ही नहीं है वेरी फेमसली 
नॉर्थ कोरिया बॉर्डर पे एक बहुत बड़ा फ्लाई ओवर जाके लैंड करता है और एक जॉइंट इमिग्रेशन सेंटर है एम श्योर उसमें एयर कंडीशनर लगा हुआ है ये प्लांट एक आदमी वहाँ से इमिग्रेट नहीं करता <laughs> तो जब आप वो इमिग्रेशन सेंटर बना रहे थे जब फ्लाई ओवर बना रहे थे तो आपका काफ़ी लोग एम्प्लॉयड होंगे काफ़ी लोग एम्प्लॉयड होंगे हाँ जो अगर वो यूज़ नहीं होगा तो फिर वो इनकम कहाँ से आएगी तो जिसने उसको फंड किया था राइट उसका क्या होगा तो ये एन वही है दिस लोकल गवर्नमेंट फाइनेंसिंग वेकल लाइक ब्रिजेस टू नो है हम लोग बात की जैसे वो घोस सिटीज बन के पड़े हुए हैं राइट उस वक्त तो बढ़िया लग रहा था ये बढ़ रही है जी डी पी वगैरह बट करेक्ट सो दिस इज द सस्टेनेबिलिटी प्रॉब्लम बट वाइल यू आर क्रिएटिंग दिस इनकम सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हुआ बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम इट राइट सो सो आई थिंक टू दे क्रेडिट दे हैव सॉल्व सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम वेल बट इफ यू हैव अ लॉप साइडेड डेवलपमेंट मॉडल लाइक दिस इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू सस्टेन बी ऑन द पॉइंट राइट एंड ठीक है सो सर्विस की बात करते हैं अभी सर्विस जैसे सर्विस ऑल्सो इन सम वेज हैज बीन ब्राइट स्पॉट I think IT service me India has done a commendable job. Like you know, again I'm not recalling number, but something like two fifty billion dollars or so of that's a IT service export. Eh, I think baki services bhi honge. And we have a you know English speaking country. Lot of people understand. To your point, you know four uh, x increase in the uh, students you know studying in college and you know, probably getting some bachelor's degree. So we have a educated, well formed, uh, fairly global. mindset type of a uh, workforce so sir you know, what are the other big opportunities you know is there what should we expect in next year see the first thing is when you think about services mm-hmm. and you're thinking about jobs you shouldn't just think about exports mm-hmm. and to mm-hmm. exports are very important mm-hmm. they help you pay for the energy you are importing machine you are importing and all of that uh, and as i was saying it is important to get that boost in income so that you spend and you create other jobs mm-hmm. to you, you were saying 50000 dollar pay ka bill kar sakte ho mm-hmm. versus अगर आप उसको मतलब जो ऑफ शोर में भी जो आई टी सर्विस में काम कर रहा है उसको छत्तीस से चालीस हजार डॉलर में बिलिंग होती है साल की तो चालीस हजार डॉलर बिलिंग वाला मतलब कुछ तो कुछ तो वे भी वो बारह पंद्रह हजार रुपये कमा रहा होगा डॉलर कमा रहा होगा और विच मीन्स दैट यू विल स्पेंड समथिंग और शी विल स्पेंड समथिंग सो सो देर इज अ डिमांड एक्ट बट यू वेन वी थिंक ऑफ सर्विसेज वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट सर्विसेज फॉर डोमेस्टिक डिमांड बिकॉज रिटेनिंग इज द बिगेस्ट एम्प्लॉयर यू नो रनिंग ऑफ शॉप्स जैसे यू प्रीवियस एपिसोड टॉकिंग वर्ड इट कुछ करोड़ मतलब एक सवा करोड़ तो रिटेल शॉप्स हैं इफ यू एड द ढाबा एंड द छोटा रेस्टोरेंट दैट्स लाइकली मीनिंगफुली हाई दैट इज अ वेरी लार्ज सोर्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट बिकॉज एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऐसा नहीं है कोई दुकान खोल के ऐसे बैठा है राइट टाइम पास कर रहा है सी अगर कोई गाँव में है आप अगर दुकान नहीं है तो हर किसी को शहर जाना पड़ेगा राइट बट अगर गाँव में दुकान है तो आपका बहुत समय बच जाता है उसमें इट्स अ प्रोडक्टिविटी बूस्ट है राइट सो सो देर इज अ सर्टन वैल्यू विच इज वाई दीज हैव इकोनॉमिक वैल्यू जैसे अगर आप जैसे हम लोग एक बार बनारस से बोध गया जा रहे थे राइट मतलब कुछ कॉलीग्स के साथ पूरे रास्ते में कोई ढाबा ही नहीं दिखा तो आधे लोग तो उसमें ट्रैवल ही नहीं करेंगे कि भाई उन्हें की जगह नहीं है टॉयलेट नहीं है खाने के लिए बट आप बना दें वहाँ पे मुहैया करा दें वहाँ पे लोग ट्रैवल करेंगे सुनने से बोध गया तो बहुत दूर होगा ना कितना पाँच छः घंटे छः घंटा छः घंटा मान लिया मे बी कम है उससे आई डोंट रिम एक्जैक्टली रिमेंबर बट उनसे कम है चलो अब तो एयरपोर्ट बन रहे हैं सब जगह दिस इज वेयर आई थिंक यू टू थिंक अबाउट कॉस्ट पर किलोमीटर एंड 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 यू नो वॉट इज मोर एक्सेबल uh but but yeah but the highways are coming up so mm-hmm. more than airports right. I, i think you know the, the highways are coming up and uh, so when you think about jaise abhi koi maharashtra ka soch rahi hai ki bhai mumbai to goa express way banayenge konkan express way to jaise abhi jo 12 ghante lagte hain usko hum 6 mein karenge but when you are they're developing that mm-hmm. they are also thinking of rest stops every 50 km 100 km um uh, of of hotels along the pathway so that that road gets you have to do that kind of planning mm-hmm. so there is a lot of domestic services demand in terms of in terms of tourism in terms of retailing in terms of eating our restaurants um healthcare education so all of these are services right so now export services so if you're thinking about that so i think that uh, export services may in the next 20 years 
business services exports are going to be way bigger than what IT services exports have been in the last 30 years. Business service. Yeah. What do Example. I mean by business service? Right. So, uh, so business services exports are things like consulting, accounting, uh, engineering, uh, research. <laughs> So, Ani, so there is a risk. I think people people ask me why you have to say AI is disrupt. So let's let's understand, right? So, I'm just saying if you are a if you are a if you are a consulting firm, right? Now, what is it that the the you know senior consultant who who business lata hai, who has a lot of money, who has to go and choose the shoes from the client and who has to do the strategy work, then he has to do on-site work. The rest of the work is done in India. राइट right, तो आपको चैट जीपीटी पे सर्च को क्वेरी चलानी है पीपीटी बनाना है वो भी आजकल शायद कोई ना कोई आई टूल बनाई देगा तो वो सब करना है डेटा क्रंचिंग करनी है मॉडलिंग करनी है जो उनका नॉलेज रिपोजिटरी है उसमें हंट करना है कि ऐसा ऐसा कहाँ पे केस स्टडीज हुए ऑल दैट हैपन्स इन इंडिया फॉर सम ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजी कंसल्टिंग प्लीफ हाउसेज देर ग्लोबल डेटा साइंस डिपार्टमेंट इज नॉट ऑफ इंडिया कोई तो बता रहा था कि जैसे अकाउंटिंग है अकाउंटिंग में ऑस्ट्रेलिया कनाडा से 12 डॉलर पर आर की बिलिंग वाला पे यहां पे आपको 4 लाख रुपए में अकाउंटेंट मिलेगा सो देयर आर सम प्लेसेस वेयर देयर इज 35% ग्रोथ सी आईटी में भी हायरिंग फ्रीज है फनाना टेक में फेयर फंडिंग विंटर है बट इन दंदो में को पैसे आ रहे हैं अभी अगर आपको इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल डिजाइन करनी है आपको लोग कहां से मिलेंगे तो इंडिया में मिलेंगे अच्छा और इससे क्या होता है इनफैक्ट इसका जो सेकंड ऑर्डर इफेक्ट है ना वो बहुत पावरफुल है सी जैसे आई टी सर्विसेज में भी द नंबर ऑफ डॉलर दैट केम इन द फैक्ट दैट बैंगलोर गॉट क्रिएटेड एंड बैंगलोर एक्सपैंडेड एंड हैदराबाद एक्सपैंडेड एंड पूना एंड चेन्नई लॉट्स ऑफ फिनल वेल्थ इफेक्ट एंड ऑल दैट बट अ मच बिगर इम्पैक्ट इन माई व्यू हैज बीन दैट वी गॉट एक्सेस टू टेक्नोलॉजी एज एन इकोनॉमी राइट एंड एंड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स है राइट सो जैसे अभी ट्रेनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर है इट इज फिन राइट सो दैट अलाउज यू टू ऑटोमेट मच फास्टर तो बिजनेस सर्विसेज में सपोज नॉट सपोज देर इज लाइक यूएस के रिटेल चेन का ग्लोबल प्रोक्योरमेंट अभी इंडिया में हो रहा है तो अगर कल को किसी इंडियन रिटेलर को प्रोक्योरमेंट का कोई एक्सपर्ट चाहिए उसको यूएस जाने की जरूरत ही नहीं है वो यूएस के रिटेल चेन ने सिखा के रखा होगा उसको हायर कर लो सो द ट्रांसफर ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज द ट्रांसफर ऑफ हाउ टू डू थिंग स्मार्ट एंड यू नो फॉरवर्ड थिंकिंग All of that will happen to India. Right. जैसे दस साल बाद या पांच साल बाद अगर किसी को इंडियन ऑटो कंपनी को ईवी डिजाइनर चाहिए और कटिंग एज डिजाइनर मिलेंगे आपको यहाँ बैठे बैठे दस वेरी पावरफुल रिलेट टू यू नो माई एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग दिस कंपनी स्काई रूट आई थिंक हमें लगता है कि रॉकेट साइंस इज इट इज वेरी स्पेशलाइज ऑब्वियसली बट यू नो यूएस में रॉकेट साइंटिस्ट बहुत महंगे होते हैं फैंसी डिग्रीज होती है ऑल ऑफ दैट बट स्काई रूट में इंजीनियर सेम काम करते हैं और रॉकेट तो उसमें जाना ही पड़ेगा अरे अदर वेज नो पॉइंट वट आर सैलरीज आर इन एनी वे फ्रॉम वन फिफ्थ टू इवन वन टेंथ एंड दैट्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पोटेंशियल बिजनेस सर्विस आई मीन दैट यू नो देर आर देर इज ए कैलिबर ऑफ पीपल हेयर हु कैन डू इज कटिंग एज वर्क ऑल्सो फॉर पीपल एनी वेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री मे बी ऑफ आर स्ट्रेटेजिक नेचर एंड सो ऑन बट इन पॉइंट इज दैट इफ यू अक्वायर स्किल्स ऑन सम ऑफ दिस इज मोस्ट स्पेशलाइज jobs which yeah. have a global demand you know, that can become an industry of the future 100% and and uh, mm. uh, the same thing is happening on r&d so for example mm. uh, there are semiconductor capital equipment companies where 25% of uh, employees are in india mm. did you know that 20% of chip designers in chip design engineers globally are now in india oh wow 20% of chip designers globally are in india wow. VLSI is a very large scale integration of chips. Hote. That's great. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's that that's portends very well for the future. You know, with the yes, it does. But and, see, the thing is, and perhaps that's why, you know, being in the financial markets, mm-hmm. you're always kind of conditioned to think ahead. Ki ye to ho gaya, right? मतलब whenever something happens, ये तो price ten है, right? मतलब ये तो हो गया. This is there. I mean, twenty percent तो है. What next? Right. So. नहीं, बस twenty percent में एक है कि सिर्फ twenty percent of people employed might be there but the value creation in the chip industry perhaps very small probably you know what india is capturing exactly because hamara ip abhi nahi hai that's what i was touching it that's exactly what is coming to give us 
कोई इंडियन चिप डिजाइन कंपनी नहीं तो क्या हो रहा है कि आप दिहाड़ी पर काम कर रहे हैं राइट राइट मतलब सो पचास हजार रुपये दिहाड़ी बहुत बढ़िया लगती है हाँ भाई मतलब इम्पोर्टेंट टू गेट टू दिस बट जैसे लुक एट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन आई टी सर्विसेज एंड सैस राइट आई टी सर्विसेज फॉर्म में ऑफ शोर बिलिंग रेट मतलब टेक टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड आवर्स राइट तो मतलब कुल मिला सोलह सत्रह डॉलर पर बिलिंग पंद्रह डॉलर पर बिलिंग होती है तो मतलब तीस से चालीस हजार डॉलर में साल का बनता है सैस कंपनी का एक हज़ार डॉलर पर एम्प्लॉय है राइट एक लाख डॉलर सॉरी एक हज़ार एक लाख डॉलर पर एम्प्लॉय सो वैसे ही चिप डिजाइन में वाई एंड वी डूइंग राउंड कंपनी राइट सो दैट इज वन द सेकेंड इज एंड एंड फॉर दैट टू हैपन यू नीड टू गेट दिस ई एम एस टफ राइट सो देर सम पीपल उसे अरे ये तो क्या है स्क्रू ड्राइवर टेक्नोलॉजी है राइट जो असेंबली हो रही है फोन की बॉस तब वो आप करोगे तब तो यहाँ के चिप डिजाइनर को लगेगा कि भैया यहाँ पे फोन का अगला मॉडल यहाँ पे डिजाइन होने वाला है तो मैं उसमें अपना कैसे चिप घुसा दूँ राइट एंड एंड दैट्स हाउ द इको सिस्टम डेवलप सो दैट्स वन सेकेंड इज आर वी यू नो डूइंग द राइट काइंड ऑफ ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट्स बिकॉज सी हम लोग ना See, we can't just let the market forces work. I mean, that is very important. I mean, I mean the government should have the least amount of intervention. Mm-hmm. But can you open big pipes? Just say, if we are, I think Japan ke government ke saath hai. Mm-hmm. Just say, itni illegal immigration ho rahi hai, right? I mean, har jagah pe log idhar idhar jaad pe baithke aur doob rahe hain. I mean, you know, and and then the wahan jaate hain, the law and order problems hoti. Why can't we? Given that there are so many demographic issues in Europe, in in Japan, in Korea, in 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 US, uh, have formal agreements. कि भाई हम साल के पांच लाख, दस लाख आपको लोग भेजेंगे तीन साल के contract. So I think Neil Friend, you were alluding to something very interesting. कि हमारे पास इन सब में literally labour surplus है. Hmm. And we have seen these waves of migration in the past also, which is to a large extent beneficial for the country as well because these people send money back. I think we get you know, significant amount of dollars back mm. from the uh, the uh, NRI population in you know, different parts of the world. A lot of people go to Middle East for construction, retail jobs. Uh, Canada for uh, I guess a lot of students, taxi driver, motels, and so on. US huge you know wave of um, technology um, experts, and they've sent something back to the country in terms of knowledge. Some of them come back to start businesses. You know, so they send money back. But you are saying that we can look at this more systematically, which is a great idea. Uh, there is, you know, Europe is aging, um, you know, Japan is aging, and massive labor shortage as well. But this whole idea of doing something formally, I mean, it sounds very exciting. Is it like realistic? Can the governments actually create these They're corridors and channels? They are working on it. Yeah. So, uh, in with Japan, I believe there is already a, uh, an agreement with two hundred thousand or two fifty thousand plumbers and electricians that India will train. and japan will be involved in this training and then they will be given i think 3 or 5 year contracts mm-hmm. and they'll go there and so that way the country which is receiving them mm-hmm. knows what it's getting uh there is a certain expectation that they will actually go back as well uh and uh, uh and so there are less law and order issues and all of that so this is i think a better model just because it has not been attempted yet does not mean it shouldn't be attempted mm-hmm. there is if i may may say a um, uh, certain resistance to immigration right now in the developed mm-hmm. world so uh, like the start of trump like 2016 mm-hmm. onwards so if you see the number of immigration or the number of visas and all of that mm-hmm. it goes like this <laughs> 2016 and then mm-hmm. you know falls off in the us right uh, in, in europe a lot of the politics and the elections mm-hmm. this year will be about immigration right so so you've seen what's happened in germany um uh, and and you know all the like italy and the, lots of these uh, challenges are coming through so i think creating a formal structure where uh, where where you even know that these guys are not going to get assimilated mm-hmm. right so basically these are not people who are going to come and settle mm-hmm. they have families back and you know so it, it it's a much much more prudent way mm-hmm. to to do this uh and this has to be so this is why i was saying this is uh, we, we we need not uh think that we have tapped out the full mm. potential right so this is something that so while we the so one front as we discussed earlier is to increase the value add mm. domestically start to use some of these expertise and and the second is to create these formal channels mm. where uh, mm. we start to provide more people mm. um and uh that's that's going to create a lot of income and and all of that and the third is that over a period of time remember that big migrations do happen uh uh the, the, 
it, it reaches a certain threshold where uh, the current population starts to think that बहुत हो गया right कि अब ये हमारा culture change हो रहा है ये बाहर वाले आ रहे हैं ये वाला वो the kids that are at that time mm-hmm. say five seven ten years old by the time they grow up they've only seen mm-hmm. this kind of a mix of crowds yeah. and if if the assimilation is decent and the US is very good at it then the new new wave of immigration mm-hmm. happens right so uh, so like there was too much Jewish immigration apparently from Eastern Europe in the mm-hmm. early part of the 20th century and I, I don't know if you discussed this but you know the uh, some of the big universities mm-hmm. actually uh, uh, you know brought in uh, uh, quotas and they called it the Jewish problem mm-hmm. they didn't want too many Jewish students and they started uh, uh, recruiting students from the south and the midwest instead of New England because they didn't want uh, uh, too many uh, so this, this was the extent of the migration uh, they had blocked Chinese and Japanese immigration in the 1920s they reopened in 1960 so these things happen in cycles but if you do it in a controlled way I think the messaging to those populations also can be so that's one the, the, the third element that we need to do it do at a, at a policy level is is manage the spread of these jobs mm-hmm. geographically right you know 75 percent of our IT services jobs are in four cities mm-hmm. uh, and given that a lot of these global capability centers and and these business services jobs are coming through companies mm-hmm. that already have a good experience with managing IT mm-hmm. staff in India they also kind of drifting in those areas but those cities cannot keep growing mm-hmm. right or should not keep growing yeah Right? Because this beyond a certain size, getting people to migrate mm-hmm. uh, and then creating no new uh, sort of social norms and 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 sometimes law and order issues. Mm-hmm. Right, there is too much of migration. So instead, you create jobs closer home, mm-hmm. uh, and and so you create new centers like Bhubaneswar and mm-hmm. Coimbatore and and Nashik right. and and other places, and, uh, and 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 so for that, there needs to be deliberate policy effort. Mm-hmm. So, um, and this opportunity can be much bigger. So, for example, uh, in FY23, mm. the dollar value added by business services exports, the new uh, uh, growth, was almost the same as that of IT services. Mm. Even though in aggregate size, right. uh, they were there much smaller. So, it's growing much faster. Huge opportunity. Very well diversified. Right. Uh, but we need to proactively manage your I think two of my big takeaways from you know what we discussed so far is one is there is a massive opportunity for job creation in this very micro manufacturing quote unquote you know where just producing something for local consumption and also micro services you know restaurants retail etc and that's something in the headline we forget that we think of either uh, uh, factories or IT services you know but which are important but they, with, they will not consume bulk of the people who are working uh, and then this whole opportunity of you know potentially work in the countries which have major labor shortage participate in that as well as just building this whole business services as a equivalent vertical to IT services and participate in you know, global. Yeah and, and even when we are thinking about no exactly and that you summarized it well but it, as, as we think about even these small businesses right mm. uh, which need to grow bigger yeah. that's how they'll create jobs Opening up access to various markets, mm-hmm. right? We discussed GST in the last one. Uh, we we discussed ONDC in the last one, and and it's not just one company uh, saying that we will have six billion dollars or ten billion dollars of exports out of Indian mm-hmm. suppliers to the US or global markets, uh, but having like you know, much freer access so that you know they can they can tap into global markets uh, is is very important for these businesses to scale up and then start creating a lot of local employment. All right, so let's let's zoom out. You know, I want to just do some simple arithmetic, right? So, I mean, you know, 2047, uh, Vixit Bharat, uh, ambition. Uh, I think our population should be about 1.6 billion or so, current projections. I'm assuming the, you know, median age of 28, which means everyone below age of 28, nearly everyone would have joined the workforce. Probably a lot of people would not have left by the time because that, you know, that's much smaller set. So overall... People at the working age population probably between 110 to 120 crores, right? And let's assume we aspire to 67% participation. That translates nearly 70, 75 crore people who should have a really good employment. Today, you know, we take 54, but 54 is not all high quality jobs, whatever yeah. discount we take. So that delta exists. 
not an optimistic scenario we figure out a way to create that many jobs but is also it will require acceleration on many fronts simultaneously mm-hmm. because just simple math there no like you are at a you need to go to b it's a certain growth that is required it, it it compounds right see see this is this is where you know a 7% growth on a uh, a 3 trillion economy is very different mm. from a 7% growth on a you know 10 trillion economy mm. right so uh, so the number of jobs that get created with those kind of incomes mm. uh, and it need not just be for exports right so even basic stuff like you know uh, like healthcare services mm. i mean we the number of doctors and nurses in, uh, in large parts of india as a percent in like per 10000 people is abysmal mm. we need to provide those and and that will only happen or not only happen that one way of making that happen is through state intervention so as tax tax generation happens you can create more jobs right. and sometimes those jobs can create more jobs in the mm-hmm. sense that if your if your morbidity rates fall mm-hmm. you have more working days left and therefore you can be more productive mm-hmm. uh, uh one of the strongest and the most useful pieces of advice that i have got mm-hmm. uh, from my seniors when i was a young analyst is that take care of your body because these are physically taxing jobs every day that you fall ill you are not learning you're not contributing right so uh if you have better health care uh you can you you have uh much lower morbidity mm-hmm. and uh therefore better productivity mm. and for that you can invest like you know in the new deal uh one of the things that roosevelt tried was the start of creches mm. right and it was a way of getting some income to women mm. it was not meant as a way of getting more women into the workforce right because the kids could be taken care of but that was the side effect right, right? and so so as the moment those creches came Mm-hmm. a lot of women who had young ki- kids would actually join the workforce because there were one woman was this specialization right. this is this is how you so i think those kind of frameworks also will mean that a lot of because of state intervention yeah. where the tax to gdp has gone up mm-hmm. the state starts to solve some of these problems right. and frees up people to do more work so i would be quite optimistic right but yeah we i think headed in the right direction mm-hmm. uh but yeah but making sure that significant income and wealth inequality does not emerge should be a policy priority and that's a whole different discussion we'll park it for now but look any discussion on jobs in today's time will be incomplete without talking about potential impact on ai so what i want to ask you is you know you as an economist and also maybe economics you know at least those who are interested in job creation labor force and so on how are they studying this because you know ai is now suddenly hit an infection point it was happening slowly 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 people were ignoring it and now it's mainstream and the pace of progress is mind boggling every few weeks something is coming out which seemed not possible you know and and this exponential curve will play out it's you know i don't think anyone can truly predict what is going to happen but something will happen for sure so as an economist how should one think about it you know what is the implication of that uh, uh from potential job creation or even protection point of view like what's what a right framework to think about it and study this yeah so uh it, it's changing so fast that uh it it's uh, very hard to give definitive answers but i'll talk about it at framework mm-hmm. level um the first is that this is much more damaging to the developed economies where there is a very large middle section mm-hmm. which can get automated away mm-hmm. because of ai right so for example you know text to video mm-hmm. that i just launched yesterday are incredible right mm-hmm. uh, the the proof reading mm-hmm. uh, the speech writing content generation ad, uh, advertisements and these things are real you don't you, i mean they they're good they're happening or going to happen they're happening they absolutely happening right so uh, or, or even Uh, you know to some extent even code generation mm-hmm. right so there are people who in in buying bangalore who say that we used to have a team of 9 right now i have a team of 2 mm-hmm. because you know the first draft of code is being generated by yeah you know chat gpt so uh, so those things are happening uh, but as a percentage of jobs affected this is going to be a much bigger issue in in the developed economies than in economy like us right? because you can't you know take away construction jobs mm-hmm. you know, there are many jobs where right. there is not going to be much of an effect that's one the the second is that um it actually is an opportunity for india as much as it is threat mm. in the in the sense that just as you know as human society has evolved 
your what is it that you can trade has been changing. So if you had told someone 50 years or 30 years back that look we're going to have a lot of services trade and mm. yeah, right you know it's it's about it's about goods trade because that's how people used to trade but the fact that cross border internet bandwidth will expand at 35 40% has meant that there's a lot of services trade now the fact that countries are wanting to put tr- barriers on data transfer I mean there's a lot of trade in data i think there will be a lot of trade in intelligence so you can train models on us data mm. and operate them out of india mm. you don't need experts sitting in the us right, right? Mm. so so i think there is a lot of opportunity uh, for uh, for for india uh, in terms of you the the the, mo- the the stuff that happens on top of these models mm. because another mo- some of these models will work independently yeah. but you know writing a text prompt so that mm. uh, some some video ad gets generated first you no longer no longer need a caucasian model uh in a in a in a uh, uh, next to a redwood tree uh, because that can be done anywhere yeah so might as well do it in india mm-hmm. right because uh, the ad the the, the the content writer is yeah. sitting here so uh, so there is a lot of opportunity there is also opportunity here in the sense that the unit cost start coming down why is it that uh, like say the the small retailer mm-hmm. perjun ki dukan wala that we want to get on to the ondc does not already have a web store front because it takes 1 lakh rupees to write mm. shopify or no yeah. shopify right mm. so basically agar software ka cost kam ho jayega mm. to volume aise bhagega right so when that happens you mm. you you can actually get a lot more of these services make it make them accessible mm. at low unit cost to a lot of other people so there are many opportunities mm. but there are risks so for example as i said you know if if a lot of code testing and code writing can be automated by ai you need to reskill a lot of people mm. um and and you need to be very agile on all the new opportunities mm. that come you need to be very agile on how policies are framed mm. uh in, uh because uh if you if the, if you are able to shape the way policies and trade agreements are are being being structured uh it can become a systemic advantage for you uh, 10 years down the line yeah i can you know only hope that you know people in the policy are paying lot of attention because this thing is happening you know really fast and it's probably one of the biggest changes of our lifetime and Agreed. profound implications for society employment uh, you know just overall security that you know people derive from the jobs they have and so it- one one caution and, and i know we have we we could we are allowed to have different opinions right. uh, uh, and we will have different opinions I and mean, we can keep debating as we used to at college right. uh, throughout the night um that I think the pace of it is perhaps in terms of the way it gets adopted in real life is going to be a lot slower than mm-hmm. people think. Possible see I mean sure I I I got to see where you are coming from. I mean there is a but we also seen acceleration of adoption you know the let's say internet ka adoption versus mobile phone ka adoption right versus so I think there is a general acceleration in our house bhi matlab abhi theek hai hamare suppose ko agar koi project ke liye dali use karna hai तो वो करते हैं राइट बट जब आया था तो हम रोज बैठ के खेलते थे उस अब वो आई डोंट इवन रिमेंबर लास्ट टाइम व्हेन व्हेन वाज द लास्ट टाइम आई यूज डैली सो सो द एडॉप्शन ऑफ डैली और द एडॉप्शन ऑफ चैट जीपीटी यू नो गोइंग टू 100 मिलियन यूजर्स मे हैव बीन द फास्टेस्ट राइट बट हाउ क्विकली इट स्टार्ट्स टू अफेक्ट जॉब्स इज समथिंग दैट फेयर ओके एंड देयर इज अ टेंडेंसी टू एक्सेजरेट आल्सो यस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इटसेल्फ नीड्स टू गो थ्रू सम मैच्योरिटी कर्व यू नो सो या I I don't disagree with you much actually on that point. Okay. So Nilkan, this is you know amazing. I think we at the end of our four part series, uh, I'm really glad that you invested 20 years of your life thinking very deeply about topics that really matter in the kind of economic health of the country, how it is connected to you know just historical context both in India and globally, uh, the you know, society, policy, economics. They are like intermingled in very very complex way. and you have an you know, amazing way of you know distilling it down to very simple frameworks concepts that you know people can follow along you have been have patiently answered all the questions in our last four episode i am super thrilled i think it's one of the best things we have done in this podcast and i i i'm very confident people will learn a lot from this and hopefully take a lot more interest in learning about indian economy and participating in that well, thank you you've been very kind uh, you're clearly a friend and and i'm glad that we did this i really enjoyed our conversation so thank you for having me on the show Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.
at Sparks, we aim to bring to you stories of exponential impact. We share in-depth analysis of what goes behind success stories. If you find our conversations interesting, you can join us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also listen to Sparks on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or any other audio platform of your choice. If you have any suggestions on who we should invite or what topics we need to cover, just let us know in the comments. We are always listening, looking for ways to improve, and keep getting better as we go along.